Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I use Flash um, to do like, you know, sketching for characters and scenes and whatnot. Um, I think this is something, once you get used to it, you'll be hooked um, because there's just such a big advantage to sketching digitally. Um, I just can't count the ways. Um, and I'll show you, you know, as I go through this. Now, the first thing I normally do is set up my, uh, my drawing surface or my sketch pad, per se, right? So if you notice the stage... Um, the size of the, uh, the size of the stage is 550 by 400 pixels. Okay. Now I generally, if you, if you go to say a four, see 50% or 25%. Now this is the, the stage and you have all this space that I want to draw on. Okay. So what I normally do, I create a rectangle and notice I, the fill is white and I make a really huge rectangle that covers the entire surface. Okay then that will be my artboard or my drawing surface. And I lock that, and then all my drawings will take place above that, okay? Now, this is the cool thing about, you know, uh, like sketching digitally because, you know, there's so many things you can do. Uh, you can cut, you can paste, you can undo, you can, you can paste, you can transform, you can, you know, there's, so, it, there's just so many things you can do that makes, um, you know, digital sketching so much more fun and convenience and, you can do so much in so little time compared to like drawing on paper. I still draw on paper every now and again to like document ideas and stuff like that. But for the most part, I do most of my sketching and working out ideas digitally. Okay. Now, um, you can sketch with a pencil, all right, uh, or with a pen. But I generally feel more comfortable using the uh, the brush tool. I mean, to each his own. And you can experiment with both and see what you're most comfortable with. Um, now, I generally use like a light color, like a, you can use like a light green, it's up to you. But I generally start with a light color just in case um, I want to start going over things. You know, the, the, the overlaying color will be a lot deeper than the, the underlying, underlying color, right? So <clears throat> I usually use a brush tool. Um, these are the different points you can use, right? And I mean, they all have their different advantages. So you can choose to, you know, use whatever you know, you want, I generally use like a, yeah, smaller brush. Um, I'm using a pen tablet. So, um, I would advise you invest in one. I'm sure they're pretty cheap right now. You can get one for maybe like 40, 50 bucks. Um, and it's worth it. It's worth it. Really, it really is. So, okay, let's get into it. Um, it's a really cool way of coming up with, with ideas for different characters. So say you have this guy, right? There he is. So <clears throat> you're not sure how you want to work out, you know, the uh, proportions yet or whatnot. Um, you're not sure if you want to have him, have, you know, small arms or whatever. Um, his legs are like that, right? Now, the, the cool thing about um, using this is that you can say, okay, you know what? I mean, that's going to be, say, for example... Um, the standard guy, like say you you know you establish okay these are the proportions I want to have okay I want to have his head to be this size I want his body to be this size and his legs and so on. Now you can say okay I'm pretty comfortable with that. Now let's see how I can you know variate this right. So you put him over there like okay that's the standard guy. Let's let's leave him in that corner. I'm gonna copy that and let's let's see how how I can mess with this. Now you bring him here. You can say okay um, what if Hmm. What if I make him a little fatter, right? You can do something like so. You know, you can't do that with paper. You can just stretch him out. You can say, okay, um, what if I do that, but I still want to make his, his body a little smaller. So you can go in, shall I get rid of this stuff right here? Just like that. Now you can go in and say, okay, I want his body to be maybe thinner. You know, you can, this is how you experiment, you mess around with stuff, you know. You say, cool, you may like that. You may say, okay, you know, um, hmm, it's not bad. Let's see, let's leave, let's leave that right there. You can make another one. You can say, okay, uh, what if I have, <laughs> have a really small head, but really big ears, right? So you can say, okay, I'm going to do this. And then you um, scale them down. So you, this is a, a really cool way of getting, you know, uh, Experimenting with your characters, getting different variations of the same thing, right? Um, <clears throat> you can say, okay, uh, 
what if I, I put some big ears on this guy? You can erase that. You know, there's so many different things you can do with this, all right? And that's still having this guy here. So take him here, you know, copy that. Now you can even make him taller, right? So you're going to squinch him in a little bit. What if I do that? Now, <clears throat> just play around with things. Change things. You know, you can have, say for example, you know, this may be the head that you're sure about. You can copy that. Now you can have different variations of the same thing. Right? So you have this guy. And this is, this is generally uh, the process that I use. Um, see that? So now you have all of this stuff. And can, you can develop like a whole library, you know, and this is how you experiment. Okay, so you can take out this little section right here, and this will be your area of focus. So now you say, okay, I think I like, you know, this head. Now, how am I going to go in and experiment with stuff? Um, you can say, okay, you know, I'm going to make this guy's eye, or say, you know, make his eyes a little smaller. You know, you can skew things, you can make it scale it vertically or, you know, horizontally. So his eyes are more horizontal, see? Now, <clears throat> you can change the shape of his, his head, you can change the shape of his nose, you know? Uh, let's say we mess with, um, you know, and, this, and this, this is the advantage of sketching digitally, like, you know, you can make infinite variations of things, you know? Um, you can go in with this one and say, okay, uh, let's do something different. Let's make him have small ears. And how about we have him uh, squish in the, uh, the head a little bit, right? Now you can, smaller ears, right? Now, uh, maybe you can, you, you may wanna, well, how about this? You may wanna just flip the eyes, right? You can do that easily. You go to modify, transform, flip horizontally. I say, okay, oh, well, I think I like the, uh, looks a little better when you have, you know, the right eye being that. Or you can, you know, play with the nose a little bit. You may want the nose in that direction. How will it look if it's pointing that way, you know? How would it look if it's um, uh, pointing upwards or downwards or whatever? And that's a cool thing about, you know, sketching digitally. You can do all these things. You can do that, you can do that, you can do that. Say, so, hmm, you know, how does the nose look this way? How does the nose look that way? How does it look that way? You can scale it up a little bit. It's actually blocking his eye out, you know, stuff like that. You know, so now you see, you know, different ways you can do things. You can play around with the, um, the shape of the head. So say, you know, you can do that. While still, you can even still, you know, go back and, and see stuff how you had it before, right? Or you can just go in. Erase that and draw something else. All right, so I'm sure, and this is a cool way also of, um, say for example, you've decided, okay, this is the character that I want to have. Now, what you can do is, um, this is how you can create a library of facial expressions. So you go in, create a new layer, hide that layer, post, and then paste it, and then now you can just have you know, now you have the same guy over and over again, all right? And all I'm going to do now is make the different facial expressions. So, so this is really cool because now you don't have to, you know, keep going in and drawing the same thing over and over again. So how am I going to make him look mad? You know, now you go in, you can do something like, you know, give him what kind of eyebrows you're going to give him. <clears throat> That's his mean expression. That could be a smile. Um, uh, this could be his uh, his sad face. All right? Uh, you could give him a scared face. You know, it's, it's just I'm just showing you here the different ways you can you know have fun with this stuff. All right? And 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 really take advantage of the the, the real freedom you have of. Um, you know, sketching digitally, okay? It's really a lot of fun. Um, 
I mean, I think once you start getting comfortable with it, you'll be hooked on it. Like you really will, because there, there's just so much you can do, you know? I could be his little sin sinister face, you know, his angry face. It's like, hmm, his scheming face, pleasant face, worried face, happy face. And, uh, you know, and all you can't do this with paper, you know? I mean, look at how much I've done here and the amount of time that I have, you know? Um, you can even go in and, you know, change his eyebrows. Like, do, do you want his eyebrows to be a little smaller? How would he look if he had bigger eyebrows? Well, you just scale them up. Exaggerate things a little bit, you know? There you go. And then, when it comes to uh, actually animating, I'll show you another advantage. So, see, this is, this is how cool it is. And you can just hide that when you're done and just start a fresh layer and just go in. All right, so what I'm going to do now... I'm going to go back to this guy. Um, which one do I want to mess with? Okay, this guy. Right? I just simply cut him out. Copy. And so I can, you know, this way I don't, I don't mess with the original. I can still have it. I can go back to it as a reference, you know, and still use it however I want. All right? So when I do this guy, go in, cut him out. All right? So now I can hide that. Now I'm in a new layer. So now you can experiment with how would this guy look when you started, you know, animating him. You know what I'm saying? All right. So <clears throat> now you can start experiment, and this is all sketching. I haven't even started going in to finishing anything yet. Okay. So now you can get an idea, like, okay, how would his arms move? You know, you can cut that out. You can do stuff like this and start moving it. Okay. So you can do that. How would it look when he stretches his arm? You know, boing, that kind of springy effect. You can play around with stuff. You know, you stretch it out that you know um, you can leave it there or you can go back to how you had it before you know um, you can see okay how would his head move you know uh, put that there you know pretty cool <clears throat> now another thing is which is cool about this you can work out your shots you can work out your scenes you know you can work out different things so say for example you had now you can start working out your storyboarding Okay, so you have that scene, uh, you know, whatever, something like that. So here you have your character, and you can just put him in whatever uh, different scenes you want. You can practice your shots. You can say, okay, this will be the long shot. Okay, um, this will be the uh, the medium shot. Okay, you can say, okay, this will be the close shot. All right, and then you can use this as your reference, and you, whenever you're going to make a new a new uh, uh, shot or scene, you can just use this, and then you know copy it and paste it and then do everything in it you can use this as a way of organizing your uh your scenes and the cool thing is you know you can build a little library of things and uh of, of a whole you know range of stuff you want to work out and whenever you're done you can just go back in take this put it on a new page blow it up and work it out okay so say for example we're ready to you know finish this guy all right so i'm done with my sketching and all this stuff and i'm ready to um work work on him. I want to I want to start um, finalizing this sketch because I want to see how this guy is going to look, right? So it's simple. You just blow it up, right? This will be my sketch. I lock that layer, create a new layer. Then you can choose whatever color you want, okay? Um, I generally use a deeper color. For example, you may use your black, right? And then you just start going in. And the thing is, which is cool about this, say, for example, the eyes, I want to make, you know, I may not be able to make it as round, all right? So you can do like that, right? Now you can see the progress you're making. You just simply do like so, right? And see, and that's the thing with the brush tool that I like because they have that tapering effect. And then you can always go in and fix these lines, of course, you know, and make things as perfect as you want. And really take your time and, you know, refine the shapes and all that stuff. Use your the eraser tool and go in and touch up your lines and stuff like that, right? And another thing is, whenever you're using a brush tool to make your character, draw it really big so that when you scale it down, it will be really fine and crisp, okay? That's a little trick that I've learned. Um, and you can do that. And also, if you don't want to, you can also combine tools. So say, for example, you're unable to draw the eye really um, perfect, you just use the oval tool, right? And there you have it. Just do something like so, you know, can distort it a little bit, stuff like that. So it doesn't seem too perfect, you know, and that's how you go about it.